Hey guys, what's going on? Me and Asim back with a brand new video, and today I am doing my worst first on every single Lego Star Wars set from the year 2005. But it's the same year that Revenge of the Sith came out, one of the best Star Wars films of all time. Anyway, so one like disclaimer type thing I want to make before the video starts, I will not be including the unreleased 6968 Wookiee Attack set, the 6588 bonus value pack, the 65844 bonus value pack, the 65845 bonus value pack, and the Anakin Skywalker Toy Fair exclusive fig, the Luminara and Dooley Toy Fair exclusive fig, or the Darth Vader Toy Fair exclusive fig, or, last but not least, the Toy Fair VIP Gala set. It's a bit of a long list, but these are all things that on uh, Bricklink and stuff like that didn't have pictures for, because of how rare they are, and didn't even have however many people owned it and however many people wanted it right because how rare it is how uncommon it is plus i'm not just not including an unreleased set and a bonus pack that no one has a picture for because it's so rare right so now what will be included on the list and is the worst set of 2005 in my opinion is a 6967 mini arc 170 starfighter this set looks nice but it just isn't as good as it could be. Now, for the time, I admit I could, I should cut it some slack, but it's just not good enough. It's a poly bag build, and they're just never going to be anywhere near as good as the actual sets. Still looks nice though. It's pretty good as far as um, poly bag builds go, even compared to today. But can't put it any higher. But what I can put higher is a six nine six six mini Jedi Starfighter, retailed for five pounds. Which was an alright deal. It looked quite nice. It looked ever so slightly better than the Arc 170. Not massively. A little bit better. Which is why I have it higher. It looks very good at mini scale. But it's definitely better than the Arc 170. But I don't know how much better. So that's why I could only put it slightly higher than the Arc 170. Which some people would think I'm being a bit harsh. But is what it is. Anyway, so... The 7251 Darth Vader transformation is higher. This also costs £5, which is an amazing deal. With only £5, you get a figure, you get a build, but the build is disgusting to look at. It's really ugly. Colours that don't match. The figure's a bit mediocre. The medical droid's cool, it just doesn't match. Well, the colours are mismatched. It looks like the inside of a UCS set where it's all orange and blue and stuff. It just shouldn't be the way it is. The colours, inaccurate. Should be better, could be better. If Lego did it today, hopefully it would be better, which is why it's the third worst Lego style set for year 2005. Now, something that's even higher than that is a 7250 Clone Scout Walker for £7. It's £2 more expensive, you get the same amount of minifigures, but the minifigure is probably better, and the build is definitely better because the build doesn't look like the inside of a UCS set. It's actually nice. This build, I would give a solid. I don't know why I'd give it out of 10, but, but it looks alright for the time. And something else that looks alright for the time is the 7255 General Grievous Chase. For £15, it includes two minifigures. It looks... It's cool. It's like a really cool concept for set. I want them to do it again, 2024, 2025. But it is a bit ugly. Not gonna lie. The colours are a bit off. The General Grievous is old and crusty, kind of. But it's really cool. It's a cool concept. It's really cool. But it's ugly. Anyway, something that isn't ugly is the 7263 TIE Fighter. £15. It includes two minifigures. It's nice, but it's very plain and simple. Not much texture to it. It's, the wings are very, very thin. Something that, if you look at the picture now, you'll see that the wings are very thin. And it's very plain, very simple, very little texture. And this is also back when they did uh, black wings with blue like stripes and stuff in them. Which wasn't the ideal look, but still cool. You get two figures, two decent figures I say, but yeah. Anyway, the 7252 Droid Tri Fighter that released for £10. You only get one minifigure, but you can't really expect much more with this type of set. It's only £10. It's a good set. It's nice and small, looks nice, great detail. It's got some really nice detail pieces. Um, it looks really good. It's one of the early versions of Tri-Fighters. And I think Tri-Fighters are just a clean ship. They just look really nice. A bit like Mando's N1 Nibu Starfighter. 
it's just kind of a solid ship and it translated really well into Lego for this particular set. I think it's um kind of like the set is designed to be made out of Lego, or the ship's designed to be made out of Lego in a way, because it looks really nice. And I think the Droid Tri Fighter is one of the best separatist ships. But not as good as the 7258 Wookiee Attack. This Wookiee Attack actually released for purchase for £25. You get five minifigures. Now, I think it's very good. I think the set is amazing. It's an amazing concept. But the one thing that ruined it is the colour scheme. The colour scheme just doesn't work. It's like an orange and navy blue. Maybe baby blue, but I'd probably lean towards navy blue. But it's an orange and navy blue. It looks not good. It's a bad colour scheme, frankly, and it's a little ugly. It's a cool set. I would, If it was the correct colour scheme, it would be a lot higher. But it's orange and blue. It's not the colour it should be. But yeah, plus it's not accurate to uh, the scene that's supposed to be on the box. But still, it's just... I just don't think the... Um, Wookiee attack is accurate because it's all weird colours. But the Wookiee gunship, dropship type thing with the Wookiees is still cool. Anyway, the 7256 Jedi Starfighter and Vulture Droid for £15. It's ever so slightly cooler. It's cheaper and it's got one main figure in it. It looks it looks cool and it's a good value. It's a two in one set. You get Anakin with his Anakin Starfighter and you get a Vulture Droid. The Vulture Droid I think early versions of Vulture Droids always look a bit ugly, a bit blocky, a bit mismatched colour-wise. But Anakin Starfighter isn't. Anakin Starfighter looks really nice. It's a good combo, good two-in-one. Kids just love it. It's cheap. So parents are like, oh, a little present to get the kids. A little treat. And they, love, they like it because they can play around with two different ships that can battle each other. And it's just a kind of good set. Simple as that. It's, it's a great set. It looks really nice. Like The two-in-ones modern day are much more expensive. But they're a lot more detailed, a lot more pieces, and they're just better. But yeah, something that is better is the 7260 Wookiee Catamaran. For £40, you get six minifigures, and it just looks amazing. It is a beautiful set. It, you get Luminara and Dooley, which is a really nice looking figure. You get a bunch of other figures, only for £40, and it's a decent sized build. It just looks very nice. You get a little Swamp Speeder and you get the actual Wookiee Catamaran as well, which is really nice. I think it works really well in the set. It's fairly accurate to the scene. It looks really nice. And these earlier sets, they had loads of minifigures. They just had minifigures that were accurate to the scene. Instead of, if you spend um, 120 quid, you usually get six or seven, maybe eight minifigures. Unless it's an advent calendar, they're different. And then... If you spend 200 to 300 quid, you get, like, up to 20 minifigures in Master Builder series sets. But back then, they were like, there's a decent amount of characters in the scene. Decent amount of minifigures. Don't do that now, though. Anyway, the 7283 Ultimate Space Battle is 50 quid. Four minifigures. Good deal-ish. It could be a bit cheaper, to be fair. Could be a bit cheaper. But four minifigures, it's cool. It's all the stuff you could want all in one place. But yeah, it looks really nice, Ultimate Space Battle. Lots of people have mixed opinions on this. I I understand the whole viewpoint of it's overpriced, the sets in it aren't worth it, but it's an Ultimate Space Battle. It's probably worth a decent amount these days. In fact, I know it's worth a decent amount these days. And I can't knock it for being bad when it's just a little bit overpriced, when it's an actual good set. Now, for 10144, Sandcrawler has 11 minifigures, which is an amazing amount of minifigures. And now, hear me out here, the price point is very weird. It's £107.65. It's a very odd price point, but it's a cool set nonetheless. And for the time, I can understand the weird tan and dark tan and, like, uh, reddish-brown bricks all got clumped up together, not really matching. But still, it works. It looks all right. It could be worse. It It's better than... It's probably the worst Sandcrawler Lego I've made. But it's 2005. You can't really expect much better. And it's a great amount of figures. But it is an odd price point. But you get a great amount of figures at 11 for 100 quid. I'm not including that 765. That's just weird. 100 quid. And 
it looks really good ish it looks all right but you get 11 minifigures for 107 quid that's just an amazing deal anyway the 7257 ultimate lightsaber jewel for 25 quid is arguably a better deal because you get you only get two minifigures but they like the light up minifigures where you push on their heads and their lightsabers light up which were was a bit weird to be fair but in 2005 experimented for something it didn't work very well they didn't like the way they looked so they did it 2005 for a couple of sets and that was pretty much it because they did an obi-wan and luminaro and dooley and Ob- and no a mace windu luminaro and dooley obi-wan anakin i'm pretty sure i think they did a darth vader as well but they were cool um they're quite rare now the light up figures because all batteries die so it's not easy to find ones that work but yeah still still cool figures it's a great set it's iconic it, everyone loved it but yeah something that i love even more though which is probably an unpopular opinion the 7259 arc 170 for 30 pounds you get four minifigures five pounds more expensive double the minifigures that works for me it's a very clean build and very cool i think an arc 117 should be made again at some point but yeah i really like the way arc 170s look i think they're very nice i think they're one of the better republic starfighter type ships but yeah i'll be sad if lego don't make another one at some point but yeah something that i actually really like i have a soft spot for is the 7264 imperial inspection i just like imperial um shuttles because the early versions because they just look cool they were nice good values at 45 pounds and you got 10 minifigures 10 minifigures you got two royal guards four stormtroopers darth vader emperor palpatine and two officers i think yeah that adds up to 10 but yeah it's very nice it's just amazing there's nothing not to like about the imperial inspection it's a decent it's a solid set only 45 pounds you get loads and loads of minifigures it's just absolutely awesome especially for figures and it's just a great value like it's a it's a, if they release that today it'd be a pickup and if obviously they'd make the figures better and the build a bit nicer because it's a bit ugly to be fair but still very nice now something that i put higher than the imperial inspection i think the imperial Inspe- inspection is a better set but the 65771 episode 3 collector set is just so cool and unique a good deal at 60 pounds has to go this high because you get an arc 170 you get a joy tri fighter but you also get a, a cd or a dvd or something and a pen and a poster which and it's just so unique and cool that i had to put it higher than something that i think would have been a better set than it but it this just had to go high because of how iconic and a, such a collectible it is had to have this higher now something that i had a tough time deciding between uh this one which is second place and then the episode three collector set which is third place i could i'd struggle to decide between which way around it is but i put the 7261 clone turbo tank for 70 pounds second place you get seven minifigures it looks amazing you get like i mentioned earlier the light up mace window which is quite expensive now because it's hard to find one that actually still lights up because batteries die which you can replace just not when it's sealed in box but it looks amazing great value sweet minifigures it's just for the time it, it's such a beautiful set it just looks like chef's kiss just really good i think the clone turbo tank 7261 is the second best lego style set of the year now it's actually incredibly close to the number one set and if you guys know what came out in 2005 you'll know what's number one it's the 10143 death star 2 now the clone turbo tank was very close to this and if this cost 50 quid extra it would have gone to clone turbo tank but because this is just such a good deal how massive it is 250 quid for how massive the death star 2 is has to go to death star 2 it's absolutely massive looks good amazing value and it's a legendary set it's worth so much these days it's one of the biggest lego star sets of all time only released for 250 quid when you times that by like three three and a half for similar size sets these days times it by three and you get a similar size set the price this was just back when lego star wars was nearing its peak for in most people's minds we're getting back there 2024 is looking like an amazing year for lego stars and late 2023 has been good as well 
because you get some iconic sets and this Death Star 2 is the best set of year 2005 in my opinion. It is just so good, so iconic, so legendary. It's worth a lot of money now and it's just amazing. I don't have a set obviously so I would highly recommend after this video go watch a review on it because of how nice it is. It, it it rivals the Super Star Destroyer, the UCS style UCS Star Destroyer, Super Star Destroyer, which is one of my favourite Lego style sets, just as how simple, classic, and like vintage it is in a way, but it's massive as well. But yeah, anyway, that was my order of the worst first every single 2005 Lego Star Wars set. If you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about the order you would place every single lego style set from the year 2005 in anyway i will see you guys next time in a brand new video peace